Hey, LOs, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry for being gone again. Um, just so much had happened in the past few months that time just passed by. I had updated you guys. I had started teaching second grade and one of my students passed away unexpectedly. So, you know, helping them with their grief, me going through grief, um, me doing my schoolwork, the time honestly just passed by really quick. I'm like from March to June, that time just flew by. So, um, I'm so sorry again. I know I keep apologizing and I will try my hardest this time to not be gone for as long as I was. I was gone for what, about six months? And I don't really want to be gone like that again. But today... I'm giving you guys a scalp oiling video. Um, I just recently got my extended soft locks installed on Wednesday and my scalp is a little dry. It doesn't have any moisture on it, so it's been a little itchy. So I'm just gonna do a quick video. I'm gonna be using the coconut oil and Biobob Vital Oil, but let's get started. All right, so I started getting these extended locks about a year ago. No, by about two. I think I first got them in December of 2020. And I actually fell in love with the style I saw on Instagram that, you know, you could do it the crochet method. So I started getting these, and I love them. Um, you can get them different lengths. I got mine 36 inches because I like long hair, but... You can get them however long you like, honestly. Um, I've seen some people get them longer than 36 inches. <laughs> Which me, I'm like, how do you get them that long? Like, how are you going to walk? It took about seven hours to do my hair. Because my hair is really long and thick. And so, you know, to get every nook and cranny of my hair, it takes a few hours. But I'm used to it. I'm used to it taking forever to do my hair. Like I've already mentally and physically prepared myself to sit down for a long period of time. But I love this style. It's just very versatile. You can style it different, many different ways. How's everyone been? How has everyone been? I hope everyone is enjoying their June. I hope everyone's happy for the summer. I hope everyone has a great summer. Just how y'all been doing. Well, I actually hope y'all enjoy this video. It's very different. I don't have a lot of dandruff, so that's why I don't really ever record myself with dandruff. I don't really get dandruff, so if I the only time I do get some sort of dandruff is like when I get sew-ins, I'll just have dry scalp. That's really the only time I get dandruff. So I'm going to switch it up to like I have um, some parts of the video I'm going to talk and some of them I'm not going to, you know, just to have a balance. Because I know some people, you know, like quiet when they watch ASMR videos and, you know, some people don't mind a chit chat. So 
I'm gonna do both. Now the back of my head is probably going to be the most challenging. Is going to be the most challenging to do. But I'm going to try to get it done. So I'm going to try to get close as I can. I'm using my front camera just for this part so I can see what I'm doing. I was a substitute teacher and they asked me to take over that class. And I'm like, at first I was very nervous. Like, can I do it? I'm like, I'm in school for teaching. Um, You know, I know how to do it. I've been subbing for so long, but I never, you know, had a class, you know, to myself. And I loved it. Once I got in there, I started in January and I love it. I really created a bond with these students, with these kids. I created a bond with my students, and they were such an amazing group of kids. Like, I wouldn't have asked for a better experience. I mean, we had days where it was rough, you know. But overall, it was a wonderful experience. Just want to make sure I old it. I old it really good. I don't want to put too much, but I also don't want to put, you know, not enough. Because this heat in Florida, this has been un dried in my head <laughs> so quick. And I don't want it to get super dry and itchy. I'm gonna make sure this side of my um, scalp is a lot drier than this side. So I gotta put a little bit of extra on this side. I don't know why I think because my hair is a little bit thicker on this side. So my scalp sucks in more of the moisture.
have a question, guys. What's your favorite um, dandruff video that I've ever done? Like, what's your favorite video of mine that I've ever done? Um, if I had to choose one out of my videos, I would do all the ones that I do with passion. Just like if I was to show you guys, like, behind the scene bloopers and <laughs> stuff like that. Like, how hard we struggled to set up some of her videos. You would, like, appreciate the craft a lot more. Um, I also like my ones I did with Jasmine. I like all my videos, to be honest. Um, even the ones that were not so great in the past. Only because, you know... Those videos taught me, you know, things that I need to work on. So, yeah, like, I can look at them like, ooh, that video was a mess. But I also look at it as a learning experience. Like I said, I probably am not going to be able to get every single angle, but I'll do what I can. Okay, now that I'm done oiling the back of my scalp, I'm gonna go through with my non-flaking foam setting mousse. And this is my favorite part. <laughs> I love doing this. So I'm gonna do the front first and then I'll get up and do the remainder. How many of y'all, oops, <laughs> how many of y'all get braids and love the part where they put the mousse on your scalp? Like it feels so good. 